people, today is the day. Finally, I am going to clean out or unpack both. <laughs> clean and unpack my closet. We moved over two months ago, so it is time. Behind me, I have a plethora of things that I have bought to put in my closet to make it nice and luxurious. I've never had a closet like this. I'm so excited. Not so excited about the before shot that I'm about to show you. So let me, let's just go do that. Okay, let's rip off the band-aid. Here we are. Remember, this is a judgment-free zone. And let me just show you. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's not as bad as it looks if you close your eyes. Yes, this is what we are working with. I have boxes full of clothes. I have clothes that I've been wearing for the past couple months just piled on top of those boxes. I have bags of crap. I have Thanksgiving stuff, I have dirty laundry, I have boxes from sponsors. <laughs> I've got it all in here. You know what I don't have? Any type of organization. So that's my plan today. I want this closet to feel like a department store. I want it to look like those closets you see on Pinterest because I've been definitely scrolling those closets, getting some inspiration, and I bought some crap. You wanna see what I bought to put inside my closet to make it seem luxurious? That's my hope, okay? I often have high expectations and I realize that I rarely ever meet them and I'm okay with that. As long as the outcome looks better than this, I'll be happy. So these are the main items that I bought to throw in my closet to make it look amazing. I got an ottoman. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? I was so happy when I found that. I thought it was so fun yet chic. I found this, took me forever to find a little uh, dresser like that. That is a rug. This is some random stuff, some more random stuff. It wouldn't be lux luxury without a tree. <laughs> I got that on clearance. I got most of this stuff on sale. And then Target had a sale on their organizing bins. So I took advantage of that and I bought, I think six of them. I think I bought every one that they had. And then I bought some artwork. I bought a nice mirror. Ooh, I'm excited. So let's get to work. I don't really know how I'm gonna function in here. Okay, I mm, I didn't think this one through. I have a lot of bags full of organizing stuff for my pantry, so I feel like that doesn't belong in here. Oh my gosh! The things you find when you clean. I found a candle, not just any candle, a mac and cheese candle. I actually bought this as a gift. Look, it was on clearance for $5. Oh man, it smells so nasty. It smells exactly like the powdered cheese packet you get when you make mac and cheese. It's so gross, but it's like so fun. This is a birthday gift for someone and so is the rest of it. Where am I gonna put it so I don't forget? Here's some more organizing bins for the pantry. Also found a spoon that needs to be washed. That's gross. Who was eating in my room? It was probably me. Sneaking away with that jar of Nutella. Ooh, some toys I've never given the kids. Garbage, garbage. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't move in here. I can't function. Oh my gosh, I found Wentworth's birthday gift. His birthday was a month ago. I'm the worst. It's an episode of Hoarders. I'm buried alive. <laughs> Time to get serious. I still don't know what to do. I guess I can take these diapers out. We use cloth diapers, but when we're on vacation, we use these, so I'm gonna save them for when we're on vacation. I'm out of breath already. I bought, <laughs> I was proactive, and I bought a box of hangers from Costco when they were on sale. I think I'm gonna need more than 50 hangers. <laughs> I guess what I'll do is take everything out of the boxes and clear the boxes out of this space. The problem with that is, like this box just has a bunch of clothes in it. Okay, I need it out. I need it out of here. I don't even know if I can lift it. Ugh, it's heavy. <laughs> I'm too weak for this. I haven't been back at the gym long enough for this. Drag it. One down, five to go. I feel like I don't need anything in this box. What's in this box? This is Alex's crab. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm back for more. All the random clothes, I'm just gonna throw on the bed. Ugh. I have so many gift bags, they're overflowing. 
Okay, I'm making a bit of progress in here. Did you see this corner before? It was trashed. The bad news is now my room is trashed. <laughs> so the good thing about wardrobe boxes is that, what is in here? Where's the wardrobe? This is literally, uh, what? You know, Alex just organized his closet, but half of his stuff is in here. Yeah, this is his box. I'm gonna slide this over to his side. The wedding dress is mine. There's actually two wedding dresses in here and I will keep those, thank you. Uh, like a football player. What's all this? All right, moving right along, what's in here? I think it's shirts. I don't even know if I want to keep all these shirts. Is right now the right time to go through them? Let's just hang them up. I'll just hang them up and then go through them at the end. I feel like I've lived without wearing these clothes for two and a half months. Do I really need them? The answer is yes. Some people are striving to be minimalists. I am definitely on the opposite side of that spectrum. I am a maximalist. Case in point. I see some gems. One box down. I can see the floor in here. I feel like I don't wanna bring my clothes in here. Can I just have an empty room? <laughs> I might like that even more. All right. Ooh, cool. This one fell to the bottom of the box. I'm gonna get these out. <laughs> First thing I'm getting rid of. It is like stained blue. You can't really tell. And since you can't really tell, I might keep it. <laughs> it's my bathing suit cover up. I have a backup because I found it thrifting and I love this thing so much. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out there. Looks good. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. Ow! Ah! This is more time consuming than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I'd just like bing, bam, boom. Take crap out of the box. Ugh. I severely underestimated the amount of clothes that I own. <laughs> I'll put these on the bed. I'll deal with them later. One more box down and it feels good. One more box. Bringing back memories from having to unpack the entire house. Ooh, ooh, yes. I've missed you. Hey, this is my favorite. Oh no, all the batteries just fell out. I broke the handle off of it too. Time to get your life together. This is how I wake my kids up in the morning. <laughs> it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up in the morning. Don't you want to live with me? <laughs> oh, that's fun. I've really been missing this. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna bring this box out. There's nothing pressing. It's just a lot of random things. We'll deal with this later. Okay, I have mostly everything cleared out. The floor is looking real nice. I don't think I gave you a before shot of this shelf because I simply could not get in here. <laughs> so the plan of attack is to sweep. That's number one. Time to bring some furniture in. And now that this is in here, this might be too big. I was thinking it might go there. I'm putting a mirror on this wall, on the like diagonal wall. Initially, I wanted to put the dresser on that side. Oh, it fits on that side, but does it look okay? I guess let's get the mirror in here. And uh, I might not like that at all. <laughs> And this is precisely why I'm not an interior designer. I measured this, so let's cross our fingers. Hey. Oh, it's heavy. How's that look? I actually don't even know how to hang this thing up. All right, let me see. Oh, I hate that there. And then I got this piece of artwork to put up here. Do we like it? Is it too much? It's a little bit too much. <laughs> But this, I'm 100% sure I'm going to love. Oh, is it too big? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so luxurious. But wait, there's more. Oh my gosh, the carpet really brightens this up. 
Does this, is this too big for in here? Is it the perfect size? It spins. It's the most incredible thing I've ever owned. I could stay in here all day. Woo, I'm dizzy. Okay, this was my, uh, my big plans <laughs> for the closet. This is what I bought. I don't like that dresser at all. I do love the ottoman. Love the rug that I picked out. I almost picked out a busier rug with a lot of prints and a lot of colors, but I feel like the clothes have a lot of color, so keeping the rug neutral, and plus it like brightens everything up in here. Um, I do, I like that artwork, but I also have another piece of artwork that I'm thinking about hanging here, but it might not fit with the clothes. Have you ever seen this in a department store? <laughs> I feel like that's so cute. I think I love it. I think I'm definitely gonna put it there, I'm pretty sure. Um, I also found another piece of artwork that I bought. Instead of that, I thought this one might work. What do you think? You can't even really see it. Here's the gist of it. It's cute, right? I don't know. Okay, now, I did buy a bunch of these black bins from Target. My plan is to, um, put them along here and I'll throw like my leggings in there. Stuff that I wear all the time, don't wanna fold, my gym clothes, all that good stuff. Okay, I have six. We can do all black. I initially bought these and then had a change of heart because I thought, oh, this might be too busy. I like the color and I like having color. I like that there's a pop of green in it. So let's, hold on. So this would be an overview with like the black bins, okay. And this would be with the printed bins. I think I like the black ones more, it makes it look chic. Not that I'm chic, but that's what that's the look I'm going for in here. Just imagine like clothes everywhere. <laughs> I think the black ones will look nicer. Well now that that's decided, I feel like it's about lunchtime. <laughs> I do like what I've done so far with the place. Uh, now I need to get all of that back in here. I need to go through my clothes and get rid of the stuff that I don't wear, don't like anymore, it doesn't fit me, yada yada. Okay. Okay, I filled my hole, I feel refreshed, I feel rejuvenated. I am going to start going through my clothes and getting everything organized in here. Well, organized. How about let's just get rid of the crap that I don't want, okay? So one thing at a time. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this stuff. Well, this can go. I like that. I like that. I like that. I don't like that. That's good. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Double yes. I should probably put my aprons in the pantry. This still has a tag on it even though I've worn it. I bought this to wear to a wedding. I never wore it. I don't know how I feel about it. I love this skirt but it has so many pulls on it. But like you can't tell from far away. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I have a problem. Ow! I feel good. All right, this can go. This. Ah. I have a really hard time getting rid of things. Like, I like this. It's cute. It's fun. It's summery. But I've never worn it. Maybe I'll wear it this summer. Sounds good to me. Okay. Moving on. I'm just going to sift through these. Uh, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. These are great. Skirts. Where am I putting skirts? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I need a special spot for all my holiday decor. This has a stain on it, but you better believe I'm gonna wash it before I get rid of it. <laughs> I don't really like that. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. Oh, now I remember. It's amazing. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is cute. Like that, like that, like that. All right. Wow. I'm making hardly any progress, but Small progress is still progress, getting rid of all of this. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more to get rid of on the bed. Right, I should probably organize this stuff into categories like sweaters, skirts, shirts, and all that good stuff. Dresses, like this is a yes. I should have worn this when I went to go visit the flamingos the other weekend. This is incredible. <gasps> Maybe I can frame this. <laughs> This is a whole look. Oh, 
Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna keep most of this stuff, mostly because I love it. But I am gonna try to get rid of some pieces. Skirt, sweat, is this clean? Yes. Where do I even begin? Skirt, what on earth is this? We've got a couple no's. Where's my donate pile? There's my donate pile so far, and I don't think I gave you a proper scan of the room. Yes, I know. One thing at a time, and we're gonna get through it. These boxes are not full of clothes, but this one is. <laughs> so this is gonna be real fun. Uh, all right, let's just go through the box. Put it up there. That was ridiculous. This is my favorite thing I've ever owned in my entire life. Why? Come on, there's plenty left. I'll get to that. This is a two piece set and it makes me feel like I'm somebody. I can almost feel summer. Do I like this? Yes, but it ha it needs to be stitched. Am I gonna stitch it? No. Can you tell it needs to be stitched? Also no, it's a keeper. Yes, Christmas vests. I definitely need a designated spot in my closet for these gems. Oh, here's another. Can you believe one of my nieces this year had like an ugly Christmas sweater day at school? And I said, what did you wear? And she said, I didn't have anything. But I was like, I would have given you any of mine. Uh, she knows for next year. They're amazing. But I love them unironically. Hey, here's the set. I'm the fifth golden girl over here. <laughs> this is okay. I never really wear it. Oh my gosh, I love this fashionista skirt. It's a little on the big side, but I feel like one day I'll tailor it myself. <laughs> I definitely never wear these. Do they even fit me? I just don't think I wear low rise anything. They fit me, but they're like a mid rise. I like stuff to come up to here, Urkel style. Just holds everything in, you know? You know, I kind of like these <laughs> now that I have them on. All right, I'll think on these. This is a pass. I don't even know where this came from. Did I thrift this? Here's the thing. Someone recently gave me like a very large box of clothes. Oh yeah, okay, I like that. Oh, pajama shorts. Will I ever wear these? Probably not. I feel like their time is up, you know? Okay, well, we can say goodbye to this. Anything with like a front tie. Why was that a thing? I, it just adds bulk to a spot that we don't need to be adding bulk, you know what I mean? Says the girl with literally a tie. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Oh, more shoes. Leggings? Oh, this is a nice cardigan. Yeah, this looks nice. You know what? I feel like most of these clothes I haven't got to wear. This is a good color. I feel like it needs a wash. It's a little musty. Did I buy this? <laughs> Who talked me into this? Probably when I was going through my boho phase. Like, Kim, this skirt is so boho. Just get it. Is it giving off boho vibes? Or do I need to put my hair down? <laughs> All right, I'll keep it. Ooh, love this one. This is a two-piece set, too. I love a good two-piece set. Ooh, cute. Oh, a bathing suit. Oh my gosh, for who? Oh, is this the vintage bathing suit I found? I don't think so. I do like to keep this one around for when we have company. I love, look, full bum coverage. This is incredible. Look how cute this is. Yeah, I'm definitely wearing this this summer. I can almost smell summer. That's cute. Workout leggings. I've been looking for these because I just re-upped my gym membership. Ooh, another Cardi. What are these? Oh, pants that I haven't worn since my last declutter. And I said, okay, I'll keep a couple pairs. Let's see how high they are. That's why I don't wear them. They're not very high. My hips are here. I'm gonna need high-waisted pants to here. We're missing about five inches. <laughs> but I do like the way that they fit on my legs. I also feel like these are the kind of pants that stretch throughout the day and that's just not. Bye. I bought these when I was postpartum and needed something to wear for Christmas. That's the one and only time that I wore these. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's a second layer of skin. Ugh. How did I wear these postpartum? They're not very cute. Oh my gosh, they're like leggings with a zipper. 
That's a big no for me. Ooh, really like this. Do I have a jumper section? I do now. <laughs> okay, I was thinking about these, but you know what I was thinking? I thought they were orange. Bought these from the thrift store, and every time I go to wear them, I'm just like taken back to high school. They're like tight, skinny jeans, and they are really cute, but I just don't enjoy them. I thought I would, and I thought I would try. I really tried. Maybe not hard enough. What is this? Did I buy this yet? Yes, I bought this. Lighting in here is so hard to tell, but look at it. At first glance, you're like, ooh, are those sunflowers? Yeah. But then you're like, oh my gosh, there's cats. <laughs> Never felt this way before, there's a stain. Are these gaucho pants? You know, I'd be pretty happy if I found some gaucho pants. This, unfortunately, is a skirt, and I kept it. I bought it years and years ago because I like to have a plain black skirt, but this is not it. It's just, it doesn't really fit, it's uncomfortable, it falls down. Maybe someone else will like that. It's a pajama shirt. And this has paint on it, so goodbye. <gasps> I forgot about this. This is a fun one. This is pretty stylish and profile-ish. Kind of feel like Blossom. Hey man, that style's coming back. I liked this for a second. Do I still like it? I don't think so. Another pair of pants. You guys, pants are my nemesis. Can't ever see, oh, you know what? This seems to be pretty high. And then I always think like, surely I need to at least have one pair of pants around, which is why I keep them, but then I never wear them because I don't really like them. It's a cycle. I don't like these shoes either. My baby carrier. You guys, if you're looking for a baby carrier, this is literally my favorite. I have gone through so many different wraps and carriers. This is it. It's called the Boppy Comfy Fit. You're welcome. It is the ultimate. Where am I gonna keep that? I feel like I'm suffocating. Am I gonna keep this? I'm probably not gonna wear it, but I'll try. It's hard when I have so many other amazing options. <gasps> Love this. Cruella de Vil. I did like this one. Yeah, I kinda still like it. <laughs> and a bra. What is this? I don't even wear bras. Hey, one box down. Kind of, because remember how half of it fell on the floor? <laughs> okay, progress. Would we call this progress? Um, it gets worse before it gets better, right? Hear that sound. I kind of feel like Beetlejuice in this bathing suit. This is amazing. Listen, I know you're looking at the tower of KiwiCo boxes in the back. Uh, by the way, this video is sponsored by, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it is just a tower of KiwiCo boxes. 90% of them are empty. No one ever told me that as an adult, you'd have a hard time throwing away really nice quality boxes. I always think, oh, I can put something in here. Anyway, I recycled them. <laughs> I gave a few to one of my cousins who sells things. So, um, you know, it's a nice box for her to ship. But anyway, that's what that is. I don't want you to be alarmed. Try to get the... Uh birthday bag situated. I've got the eye of a tiger, a fighter. You know what I've done before? Made artwork out of a birthday bag. Like this, this is so cute. And I bet this bag was way cheaper than any artwork. If you have a frame around your house, just like get a thumbtack and hang that crap up. This one's so cute, I don't even wanna bend it. Cool, 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 one thing's done. All right, back to it. How many cardigans does one person need? Oh, this hanger broke, that's so sad. I almost wore this this past winter, and then I was like, I'm not going anywhere fancy. Ooh, I'm hot. I don't even know who this belongs to. It's a Tampa Bay Buccaneer sweater. Shoot, if it fits me, I'm keeping it. These are expensive. Oh yeah, rockin' and rollin'. This is nice. <laughs> Definitely doesn't fit me. I mean, I could make it work. You guys see that Bucks game? How about them Bucks? Uh, pretty sure this has gotta be one of Avelina's friends. <laughs> Not that they haven't taken any of my clothes home and kept them. In our old house, we literally had a dresser. Not just one drawer, an entire dresser full of clothes that kids would leave over our house. And we'd try to give them back and be like, these are your clothes. I know that they're yours. I have pictures of you wearing these clothes. And they'd be like, no, those don't fit me. They're not mine. I'm like, <gasps> so anyway, we had a whole dresser that when we moved, I said, Alex, you better get rid of that. I'm not moving that to the new house. 
but you'll be surprised at how often since we've moved here that we've had kids like need a change of clothes and Alex is like we should have kept those clothes because then I end up giving them my clothes and I never see them again. We just have to replenish our stash again like that. Ooh, love that. Do I like this? It's like a fun, ooh, a day at the beach. Oh, no thanks, I'll just lounge by the pool. Yeah, okay, I'll keep it. Sweatpants! Yes! I have been looking for some sweaties. It's been real cold here in Florida. You know how cold it's been? In a few days, it's gonna be I don't remember what how they worded it, but the coldest, definitely the coldest day of the year. Well, it's January, so. Anyway, the coldest day in history or whatever, how dramatic they are on the news. It's going to be 28 degrees here in Florida. It could snow, you guys. It probably won't. And even if it did, it'll be more like a frost. <laughs> but that kind of stuff excites Floridians. But anyway, we had someone cancel plans. They're like, yeah, it's gonna be 28 degrees. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> it was, it's an outdoor event, like uh, horseback riding and stuff. But anyway, is that crazy? 28 degrees? Ooh, that reminds me of 98 degrees. This calls for a sing-along. Love this sweater, by the way. Haven't had a chance to wear it. Where's my phone? What's their most famous song? I Do has 38 million views. <laughs> this came out way before YouTube. Oh, maybe because it's a wedding song? All of me. How do I remember this crap? Is in your eyes shining at me. All the passions unfolding. Where's the light is at? Seduce me cause I. How do I remember this crap? I haven't listened to that song in like a million years. <laughs> That's a jambo, I'm just saying. 98 degrees? Love this skirt. Definitely keeping it. Love this, just bought it. Love that. A cousin of mine convinced me to buy this. I wore it to a wedding. Has it run its course or should I keep it some more? I kind of feel like Veronica Salt. But it does have pockets. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep it. You're not a very good influence. Seduce me cause I do. Oh my gosh, there's so many clothes! I like that. This is Alex's. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's my merch. <laughs> Put a little happy in your day. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that. Ooh, this is nice. I don't really know if I'm going to keep this. I bought it to wear to a wedding because it is amazing. It reminds me of Julia Roberts. But I never ended up wearing it because it's too fancy schmance. Plus, it's a little big. As I'm struggling to zip it. It was a little big, what happened? It's a little big in this area. These are my club moves. I was trying to scroll through and get a good 98 degree song. They're all ballads. And Sync was a hit because they had some jams. A dirty pop, ha ha ha, you can't stop. You know I like that dirty pop. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Stop. <laughs> Those aren't even the words. Anyway, I guess I'll keep this too, okay. Oh, I really like this. This is like cutesy and boho, I feel like. I like that. I like this. I like this. I kind of like this. <laughs> Ooh, I do like those. Okay, I don't like this. This is what I don't like. But now that I'm putting it on, I'm like, dang, I kind of like this. is nice. <laughs> it's so soft. The royal blue is nice. Uh, I don't know why I don't like it. I just don't ever gravitate toward it. It doesn't have pockets. All right, I'll donate it. You know what? I think I'm going to donate this one too. This dress almost wore this to the wedding. But then I also thought it was just like too, it was too much and I don't know. What's the deal with this pop life and when is it gonna fade out? I mean, I feel like they just don't make hits like that anymore. Name a hit like that. Like Dirty Pop. You can't. This is still in the bag. I love this. Oh my gosh, are we done with our clothes yet? Okay, confession. I never tried this on, so let's do it. Oh wow, forget going to a wedding. I feel like the bride. Now does this tie up here or in the back? Do we like it? 
It's actually very comfortable. Spring is coming up. Yeah, it definitely ties up front. You can't really like see the details on it, but it's really fun. <laughs> it's fun and funky. We got the gift of melody. Gonna bring it till the end. Wow, that was a lie, wasn't it? Gonna bring it till the end. Where are they at now? Huh, Justin? Chris? Lance? JC? Joey? Where are you at? Bring it till the end. The end of what? The end of 2005? When did they retire? <laughs> I don't know. Way too early. I love my teacher skirt. I can donate this. I just bought it for a Halloween costume. I was a snowflake. This was perfect and amazing. Don't need it anymore. I bought this. Ooh, I wore it for Thanksgiving. Um, and it's one of those pieces where like, I look back at the pictures and I'm like, Kim, why? Why did you wear this? <laughs> it looked terrible. Here, will you button the back? Okay, well you get the point. It's like buttons all the way up the back, like Miss Mary Mac Mac Mac. And I'm not sure if this was supposed to go this way. Oh, that looks cute. I didn't wear it like this. <laughs> I wore it backwards because I thought the buttons would look cuter in the front. I also thought this might look cute in my hair, but I think it's supposed to go right here. That looks cute. But is the bow supposed to be like that? I don't know. I, you know, it's just so hard to tell. I don't, is the bow supposed to be in the front? I don't know. It's a vintage piece. I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I feel like we're at the home stretch. <laughs> just lie to me. Oh, I can't even say with a straight face. All these clothes now I know I'm keeping and they're in piles even though it doesn't look like it. Tops, sweaters, pants, skirts, dresses, jumper. Christmas stuff, uh, shoes, workout stuff. I'm gonna work on hanging all of that stuff up and then I'll start hanging the stuff up in my closet, like the hanging the mirror and hanging the artwork and all that good stuff. So I'm probably gonna pump up some NSYNC jams to get me through. Also, I think this is the last box I have to go through. What's inside? Ikea bag, I mean, I, I literally don't know what to do with any of this stuff. Oh no, more clothes. <gasps> yes, this is. Guys, I didn't even get to wear this this year because it was stuck in this box. I feel like it definitely needs some screen time. Look how amazing this sweater is. Like, is this a joke? <laughs> how did I not get to wear this this year? I'm so upset. Is anything on the back? No, I guess it's all up front. Amazing. Okay, I definitely don't have enough hangers for the skirts. Um, I found this bin. I think this is my bathing suit bin. I don't, I did not wear this bathing suit last year. Maybe this year I'll change my mind. I don't know, it's good to have options, right? Oh, is that all my bathing suits? Oh my God, where's my bathing suit? Oh my gosh, these purses. This probably still has the tag on, sure does. You know, I had big plans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this purse. My next vlog, you watch out. I am changing purses. I'm a new woman. Bye. Haven't used it, won't use it. All right, bathing suit crap. All right, you guys, when I tell you the amount of lamps that we gave away and donated when we moved here, because in this house, we don't need any, and in the old house, we needed all of them. So I'm gonna donate that as two. That as two. Oh, here are my bathing suits. All right, here they are. Okay. Okay, now this is it. Gotta have more than one when you live in Florida. Markers. I could probably get rid of every single thing in here. Oh, here's my beach hat. All right, cool. That's good. Oh my gosh, how have I not shown this to you yet? I got this from, someone thrifted it and I bought it from them. Someone shared it with me, it was on Instagram. And I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I need that in my life. It's incredible. Okay, I'm gonna go through all this and then hang the crap up. Wanna be free of this heart. I feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. The yeah. walls should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I 
the one who cries I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't, can't stop. stop Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop That chapter I Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more more than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah Never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah That was Think About You by Stir Zetterberg If you're wondering, I always get questions about the music. Next up is Human After All by Ezra Homewood. And I'm your host, Casey Casey. Oh, time flies, close your eyes, imagine you could see Everybody else's dream, what a comfort it would be All along, stand strong, the way it ought to be you can never walk alone on your way to being free Ooh, We're only human after all Ooh, Nothing can make us fall apart Put your hands together, get ready! I'm ready to answer for what I've done wrong in my life
that feels so good after listening to that song. It's one of my favorites. Uh, also, I know what you're thinking. Why the heck does the Floridian own that many sweaters? I don't know. I have a problem. Oh my gosh. What year is it? <laughs> I have made a lot of progress. But man, I thought when I started this, this is gonna take me three hours, no big deal. Um, what a joke. It's taking me all day. I just went and grabbed all my shoes from the garage because there are these like places where you put your shoes in here. I've never had that before. I've always kept my shoes like not inside of the house. So here we are. Uh, should I show you around and show you the progress that I made? It's still a lot to be done. May I'd say we're 80% done. I haven't even looked at that crap. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this hat. Huh, where am I gonna hang my hats? My belly is rumbling again, if you can hear that. I hung these things up. That's crooked, don't look at it too close. I did color code my clothes, which is new for me. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm guessing about a month. And... The black baskets did not fit here. I need 11 inch baskets, so I ordered some. They have some at Target on sale, so I don't, I don't know. We're gonna see if I pick them up. But for now, I just put my skirts in here because I don't have skirt hangers, but when I do get skirt hangers, I can hang the skirts all right here. I hung up some of the skirts on these really cool hangers. So there's like eight, 16 skirts hanging up up here. And then I have my pants shorts and sweaters that my Oma made that I just can't get rid of. Purses and bathing suit stuff, beach stuff. Oh, and then in here, I filled it with, well, my sports bras are in there. I filled it with all my workout clothes, so all my workout leggings and then my sets. Wow, these drawers suck. And then down here, I have my workout tops. I did end up hanging this tapestry up where I originally thought I was gonna hang that giraffe, but it just was too bulky. I've also added quite a bit to the donate pile as well. Oh, and I saw that there was a big rip in that, so we'll have to get rid of that. So for now, I'm gonna work on throwing all the shoes up here. You know, I didn't think I had a lot of shoes. What's the best course of action, like on the bottom? I really only wear a handful of shoes. Okay, cool. This is it. These are probably my favorite shoes that I own, that I've ever bought in my entire stinking life. I never wear those. I could probably get rid of them. Same for those. And really those. Those two. These kind of hurt. These are dirty. Those gave me a blister. These are stained from a wedding. Other than that, we're sitting pretty. <laughs> I found a bunch of my race medals. Woo! I don't know what to do with. I don't know where to put them. My kids keep getting into them and like I don't know. Oh, well, like, I don't know if there's anything in this drawer. I should display them. I should display them. Okay, in this bin, I just set it up to see if it would fit anywhere. It fits way up top, so I don't know. I feel bad returning things that are open, so I'm just going to keep it and put in my Christmas outfit. I could hang that up, but whatever. I'll throw this in here, too. Can we call this the home stretch? If we bring in the plant here? Oh my gosh, perfect fit. Do we like it there? Does it look dumb? I think it brings in some greenery to the space. Oh, oh, um, I have these that, I don't know. I initially thought the dresser was gonna go there so we would have more space to like decorate the top of the dresser. I bought a plant, I, was, I got out of hand. I got these so if I don't use them here, I can give them to, them to my kids or whatever, but I thought, oh, should we hang them here or is it too busy? Like with the plant here, is that too busy to have? And then is it extra busy if I try to like throw two up in here? I don't know, man. <laughs> well, people, I think I'm gonna end it there. I do have a few more things to go through, but mostly it's finished and I feel good about it. I feel like it does look luxury. Every time Eleanor comes in here, she compares Alex's closet to mine and she's like, you have a dresser, you have a luxury. She even used the word luxury. Love her, she's hilarious. I could hang out in here all day and be happy about it. <laughs> It is quite the transformation from what we started with. So, I mean, anything would have been better than that. 
but let me give you a look around. Let me try to give you a whole 360 view. I might have to whip out my phone so you can, yeah, hold on, let me do that. This wide view lens is pretty awesome. I mean, really just the rug ottoman mirror and then let's turn to our right in this plant. Incredible! The color-coded clothes. The master designer. <laughs> the bins actually look decent. I went ahead and threw more up there because I had like, you know, old books and photo albums and that kind of stuff. So it's just hanging out up there. I might finish it off with more if I have more stuff, which inevitably I'm sure will happen. I love that tapestry on the wall. Everything just looks fantabulous. Mostly the ottoman. I did find some more shoes, so I added some more shoes. Didn't really do anything with this rack. I might get another white bin just to even things out, or probably likely I'll get the black one so everything looks hidden, because that's what I like. And then the tree over here, I did end up um, hanging up that wall art. I just love it in here. I think it looks so fantastic. We did a great job. Thanks for your help <laughs> while I was uh, in the midst of the chaos. Before we part ways, I figured I would show you the chaos that I have created. I still need to break down all of these boxes and contend with the rest of this stuff. So this is laundry. This is Christmas stuff, kids stuff, random empty bins, more empty bins. This I am converting to something I got from Ikea like a year ago, which you can put like wrapping paper and stuff under the bed. And it's actually under the bed, it's just not set up. These are empty and I need to deal with some things in there, but mostly done. Donate. And all of this stuff goes in the trash. This is garbage, recyclable, and my yoga mats go outside. Needless to say, I still have plenty to do tonight. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys another overview because I went to Target and really amped up this area right here. I, the shoes look the same. <laughs> I love the kids. Seriously love my ottoman. Okay, I ended up going to Target to get bigger bins to store like my skirts and stuff in because you guys, the, the hangers that hang skirts and pants at Target three for seven dollars maybe it was four i don't know but i said forget that crap <laughs> surely i can try to find a better deal elsewhere i don't know but then i found those bins but then i thought well maybe these will look nicer um most of them are empty or like they have nothing you know one thing in them or whatever so i might return them they do look nice and eventually i'll probably shove some crap in them but i don't know this is what the final product actually looks like and then up here, I did keep all of the black bins because I'm sure eventually I'll fill them up. I might just throw all of them up there. I haven't decided. But um, I am storing just some like, you know, you know, stuff that you store. It's up there. So I'll give you the big reveal. Oh, did I do this with my phone before? Whatever, you saw it, right? But also, do you see how much space is left here, here, here? And I did show you a bunch of empty bins, half of my shoes. I could really declutter half of them. But do you know what that means? It's time to go thrifting. <laughs> well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it redecorating and organizing, decluttering, doing all the things with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.